Embrace innovation, driving implementation. Welcome back to innovation and implementation. This is Kara. This is Harvey. Hey, Harvey. When I was searching projects from our PCB wares, I saw two amazing projects: the actual hard earring PCBs and the blossom shaped PCBs. Oh, those are cool. I love how they are not just rectangular or square. It's amazing how PCB can be designed into different shapes. Yeah, it's opened up a lot of possibilities for wearable projects. That's right. It comes to the topic of today's video: portable and wearable projects. Let's get started. When you want to design wearable projects but have no idea what concept to start with. Badges are always popular options. Absolutely, to show love and enthusiasm to Autobox, create a couple DIY based on transformer PCB badges. In the design, he uses a 555 timer IC to create the fading effect for the eyes of the transformer. The rest of the components are quite simple, just resistors, transistors, capacitors, and LEDs. Finally. What you need to do is to solder them together. Then you can put this on your desk to give your desk a flashy look. That sounds beginner friendly. I might give it a try. I think you should. He also has a separate video to explain how the circuit work and how to change the fading effect of the LEDs. You should check it out. In addition to the transformer badge, there is another special badge. Designed by Natalia, this badge is in a beautiful two-heart shape, fabricated with black solder mask and HASL finish PCBs. The lighting on the badge is powered by a CR1220 battery and uses a Tini85 Charlie Plexing LEDs. If you are not familiar with Charlie Plexing, there is a video in the description that explains how it works. It looks so lovely, and it can be worn as pendants or even earrings. The shape is also customizable, so you can make your one of a kind version. If you are a fan of Iron Man, we've got a perfect project that can showcase your enthusiasm. Pan4 Pro 3D has motorized his toy Iron Man helmet. In this project, instead of 3D printing a new helmet, he ingeniously remade the toy Iron Man helmet with new features. It is a cool option if you don't have a 3D printer but want to motorize some sort of faceplate. The remade insides are surprisingly simple, using just one servo to operate. Since the toy only pivots off one arm across the faceplate, it didn't need any help arms or extra servo arms. Just one servo did the trick. That's awesome. I've noticed that he's a big Iron Man fan. His channel covers a series of video of building Iron Man suits. I bet his content can bring some inspiration to your armor design. Watches are ubiquitous in our daily lives. Whether they are mechanical or smart watches, it would be very cool to create your smart watches. You are in luck. Circuit Digest just posted a series of video on how he built his own smart watch. The concept is simple. With just one button, you can switch between time, navigation, heart rate monitor, and even game mode. And don't worry, the tutorial is comprehensive enough to help you make your own design stand out. It's divided into four parts: face design, ambient light, heart rate sensors, magnetometer, and a gyroscope, and final assembly. The overall design is very neat. I like it. DIY smartwatch can meet your customized needs to watch functions. In addition to being decorative, variable projects can also be functional. A studio Robo has created a powerful LED lighting system that makes his bicycle and the scooter driving safer. That's interesting. How does it work? The system is made up of a CPS, a power bank, and a 3D printed enclosure. The CPS is the heart of the system. It's powered by a power bank that's located inside the backpack. So it's a self-contained system. Yes, it is. You can attach to your bike or scooter, and you are good to go. About the lighting, the LEDs are normally lit in a striking blue light, but they turn red when the accelerometer auto detects braking. 
You can also use the remote buttons on the handlebar to activate the turn signals. The turn signals will blink as long as you keep the button pressed, and they will stay on for three seconds after you release the button. It's truly a fantastic project. Not only make you stand out in the street as a cool writer, but also enhance the riding safety. There's another project related to safety, named Smartway, designed by Andrew Florian. Smartway is a device that monitors children's geolocation and sends alert if they deviate from their route. This alleviates the stress of having to remember to always keep an eye on where a children is. Smartway also provides feedback to the child, so they are aware if they are taking the wrong route. So how does it work? The device uses three colors of LED lights to notify the child of their status: green for on time, orange for late, and red for off route. If the child doesn't notice the LED lights when they are off the route, the device will also vibrate every two minutes. The project is innovative in that it provides feedback to the child, so they are aware if they are taking the wrong route. I agree with you. It's a very useful project. Now comes a very interesting project. We are surrounded by electromagnetic fields, but they are invisible to our eyes. It would be amazing to see them. I know what you mean. It would be like seeing a whole new world. Obsessed with magnetic field, Chris Hill had designed the resolve able to visualize the magnetic field through light painting. That's so cool. How does he realize? The basic concept of the project is that. When the magnetic field is detected with a GMR sensor, a nine pixel stick will light up to represent the field strength. Then, by capturing low exposure photographs, you can see the different strengths of the field in beautiful visual patterns. The nine pixels can also be reprogrammed to create various effects, adding even more visual excitement. Wow, that sounds like an artistic and scientific masterpiece. I'd love to see these light paintings. All the files are open source, so if you are interested, hurry up to create your magnetic field light paintings. Next up, we have the project by Evander. After embracing the emergency of not being able to find a thermometer, he came up with an idea to designing a multifunctional device named H6S Pod. The H6X Pod is a portable and precise environmental monitoring platform equipped with sensors for detecting hazards like weather, air pollution, potential viruses, smells, fires, and UV index. It also has additional features such as ML sensor fusion, a thermal camera, GPS, and a power bank. With nine sub pages, we can navigate the specific function from the menu screen. In addition to these multifunctions, what makes it better is the smooth and sleek exterior design. I agree. However, the design and testing process was challenging. For example, the PCB designs went through several iterations to better comply with different hardware, sensors, and battery management. While it is still being upgraded, I'm sure the final product will be something to look forward to. Time flies so fast. That's all for today's video. Variable and portable projects are great ways to show your creativity and have some fun. We are looking forward to seeing more projects from you. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.